event of the middle distance uh, category. Men's 1500 meters coming up, and what a race this promises to be with another Ethiopian here looking, looking to defend his title. Hishamel Garouz, 331. That world record back in 1997 remains untouched. And there is the lineup. There are nine athletes in the field. Mekonen is the defending champion. He won his heat too. He's the fifth fastest man in history after some wonderful form this winter. But look out too for the brace of Moroccans here. Egida, who might be a dark horse, I think, and Amin Lalu, who is an 800 meter runner, still learning his trades, a 1500 meter man, but looked very, very impressive winning his heat yesterday morning. Who else can be a factor here? Well, there's only two Europeans. Away they go. I'm not sure there are any natural front runners in this one. Oh my word! And Deventer almost goes down straight away. How untidy can a start be? It's far from ideal, I suppose, running straight into a bend when there's nine of you uh, spread over a very narrow section. But it seems to have sorted itself out, and uh, Deventer needs to put that out of his mind and focus on this race. It's the American, Heath Garrett, Garrett Heath, who's gone straight to the front. He's a 3:37 runner outdoors. That was last summer, uh, but. Uh, that 3.39 run in the heats yesterday must have given him a lot of confidence. Kaitani on the inside there in second, third place. Quite a lot of pushing and shoving here because Garrett's making it very slow indeed. This has to be, uh, Garrett Heath, this has to be an intended tactic, I guess, Robbie. But uh, they're queuing up behind him and Egid is having none of it. He moves through after just one, uh, after 300 metres. They are, and that's a good place to be for the Moroccan. I've just got my eye on Malu. Listening to what you were saying, Tim, just before that race got underway, he is a little bit unproven, Lalu, over 1,500 metres, but he's made it his mission, he said, to get himself on a major podium over 1,500 metres. El Garouge has won this twice. Morsali, the Algerian, won it in the 90s. So too did Gabriel Selassie. Some really big names have taken this title, and I'm just wondering whether the Moroccan tucked in at the back there has got something special. We know he's got the raw speed over 800, but he's got to stay in contention. Well, there's a huge move at the front, and it's Kaitani that's had enough of it. He's a kick to the front and pushed on very hard. The first lap was a dawdling 63.98. That one's more like it, 30.2, and he's only just got to the front. And now we have a race in our hands. It's single file, and thank goodness somebody's brought some respectability to this pace. Mekonen, the defending champion, in second place. He's dwarfed by the huge figure of Kaitani, though who is a 3.30 runner outdoors, don't let's forget that. It is Kaitani who leads from Mekane, Nigida in third place. And moving through on the inside is the other Ethiopian there, Gir Bremedin, into an attacking position. Mekisi Benabad is on the outside. They've gone through 800 in 2.04.95. It's still not that much quicker. Well, I wonder this time whether Kaitani has learned from his poor tactics in the semi-final. He has got tremendous raw speed, the Kenyan, but on so many occasions in the past his tactics have let him down he only qualified as the fastest loser and he's in third at the moment but the ethiopian has gone past him a real wrap up here it's Mekinon who leads the defending champion Aguida who's run a smart race the moroccan on his shoulder van de venter on the inside there for uh, south africa in third place and then the other ethiopian gebra medin as they come with two laps to go 400 to run the frenchman in fifth place the, at the back of the field at the moment is Garrett Heath for the USA. And right out of it, uh, mysteriously, is Ruiz of Spain. But down the back straight, 300 metres to run. Aguida moved through to the lead, but Mekinen now forces himself to the front again. The roof will come off this building with a roar if he takes a second gold in a few minutes for Ethiopia. Just over a lap to run. Mekinen, the defending champion, comes to the bell. Aguida gets to the front once more. And now Lalu, for the first time, features in the top three. And it's Morocco 1-2, Ethiopia 3-4. and four. And this is where an 800 metre runner speed may come in handy because Lalu tries to get past his teammate Aguida. He does that before the final bend. That's the crucial move. Lalo leads. Mekinen has the strength. Can he get past the 800 metre man here? He can indeed. Mekinen's going to take the gold. He's going to retain it. Indeed, he's going to take the silver. Gaitani charges through for a late bronze. What a run there from Mekinen. Lalo misjudged it. He went a little too early. But the goal has gone to Ethiopia. Their fans on the back straight. There are two pound crowds of them have gone absolutely berserk. And that was a marvellous, marvellous tactical, determined run from Mekinen. He saved a little bit for the home straight. That's what Lalo forgot to do. That was one of the best indoor races I have ever seen. 
just sensational by Mekinen. He defends that title. There was all sorts going on in that race. There was bumping, there was barging, there was pushing. We had the two Moroccans working together. We had the two Ethiopians working together. Lalu, the 800 meter specialist, we thought he'd have a go, he did. But Igrida, his countryman, came through on the inside and Lalu lost hard and that's why I think Keitani just snuck away and got the bronze medal ahead of the uh, Moroccan in the end. But look at this on the outside. Mekinen driving forward, reminiscent of Mirat's Yifta. So smooth, so calm, and Mekinen saved it and timed it absolutely to perfection. A worthy champion, and the Ethiopian crowd who've ignited this arena this afternoon really deserve that second gold medal, and now you will hear them singing for hours. Well, Haile Gebre Selassie holds the uh, championship record, 3.33 back in 1999. 11 years later, Mekinen makes it three world indoor titles for the Ethiopians over 1,500 metres.